It is great to visit Florence and have a wonderful time. Let us take a look at some of the fantastic attractions, unique things you can do, and memorable experiences that help make it such a remarkable city. Stop dreaming and realize your dream. Before diving in further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to be notified about what we're up to all the time. Back to the video. Florence has always been a place for lovers of art and culture. With world-class museums and restaurants, this city is a one-of-a-kind destination. If you go to Florence, you'll find that not only can you do hot air balloon rides above the Tuscan countryside and pasta making classes, it offers much more to explore. Tuscany is Italy's most beautiful region. Think of rolling fields, green landscapes, and vineyards. It will remind you of all the reasons it's attracted so many artists, poets, and travelers over the years. Few cities are so compressed in size or so packed with incredible art at every turn. The urban fabric of this small city on the banks of the Arno River in northeastern Tuscany has hardly changed since the Renaissance, and its narrow cobbled streets are a cinematic feast of elegant 15th and 16th century palazzi, palaces, medieval churches, and graceful fountains. World-class art museums crammed with paintings and sculptures by Botticelli, Michelangelo et al. That's really cool that the whole city center has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But there are certain areas and attractions in Florence that make it even more romantic. Santa Croce Basilica is number one on our list to visit. It's one of the wealthiest medieval churches in Florence, and it features Giotto frescoes, as well as Brumalesti's chapel. It also contains one of the finest early Renaissance tombs ever built. Stop and marvel at the beauty and symmetry of the Basilica of Santa Croce any time, day or night. As it unveils around it, you'll find several architectural and artistic masterpieces. The synagogue stands next to the Central National Library. The area's vibrant culture is lively, full of people interested in having fun, both locals and tourists. People are intrigued by the songs and dances that fill the streets. The next place to visit is the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, which has a spectacular facade and a dome that is crowned with a pinnacle at its summit. The Cathedral di Santa Maria del Fiore in the city of Florence is a significant tourist attraction in Tuscany. Tourists from all around come to visit this impressive cathedral that is the main church in Florence. The cathedral's octagonal shape is unlike any other dome before it, and with its beautifully sculpted doors with depictions of certain artists. It is the first cathedral to have been built without a wooden frame. The seven doors joined with great art from Nanny Di Banco have been most noted for bringing life to this magnificent cathedral. Palazzo Vecchio is home to the past, with visitors able to experience three different eras over 300 years in length. The fantastic art and history at Palazzo Vecchio are not just for show, they can be experienced in full. The Palazzo Pitti is an enormous palace in Florence and one of the city's architectural highlights. This original 18th century building was commissioned by the great Duke of Tuscany Fernando de Medici, who also had close ties to Poland and ensured that the construction process was overseen by Andrea Fortalesi, designed by Filippo Brunels. Florentines are glad to have the opportunity to share their culinary tradition with you and take pride in serving only the highest quality local produce. Such produce is sourced seasonally and sustainably, which provides a wide variety of flavors. With dishes like rivolita, bean, bread, and veg soup, trike panino, a traditional sandwich, and steak served in a restaurant that's been open since 1915. Florence is a city known for the effortless timelessness of its food, something that will never be forgotten. Modern Tuscan cuisine is changing the way we think about food. It has a fresh edge and never ceases to amaze with creativity, while still focusing on great flavors, rich textures, and exciting colors. If you always had a youthful yearning for exploration and happen to enjoy heights, then why not go on a hot air balloon ride? If you've always wanted to go ballooning but never had the chance, then this is your chance. You'll get a ground crew to inflate and prepare your balloon before it takes off on a scenic adventure over the Tuscan Hills. Take this flight. You'll need to arrange transportation beforehand. 
but it's worth it for the fantastic views you'll see. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel today to get other amazing videos from us.